my issue with uh, that race and personal involvement was, first of all, I was never going to support Dee Dee. I made that clear. I've said that on national television repeatedly. Uh, her position on life alone was reason enough. That's, for me, a non-negotiable. It's not a political issue for me. It's a moral issue. I'm not going to vote for somebody uh, who is not for the sanctity of life. It's just simple. I'm, I'm not going to do it. Uh, they can be a Republican. I'll share the, uh, the convention with them. I'll share the party with them. But I'm not going to vote for them um, or give them money. So on that issue, plus the fact that she was an ACORN-sponsored union back, uh, left of center, cap and trades uh, supporting, other than those things, plus same-sex marriage and a dozen others, I mean, she was fine. Uh, but there were, there were two issues for me, one of which was um, I felt like that as bad as the party process was, it was the party process in that district. Secondly, I had a personal issue because I had been invited over a year ago by the conservative party to go to Syracuse and speak at the Ward's banquet, which was last week or two weeks ago. And they had specifically asked me to not get involved in the race because they felt that if I came and made it a campaign event or injected myself into the race, it would be distracting from what they had been planning a year to do, which was honor five of their local conservative party heroes. So it was part because I needed to uh, fulfill my commitment to them and uh, honor their request that I not get involved. They specifically asked me not to get involved. Now, once Dee Dee dropped out of the race, then it was a two-person race. And clearly, I mean, between Bill Owens and uh, Hoffman, it became an easy say, if you're going to vote, vote for Hoffman. Sure. And our PAC did some phone calling and other things up there for him. But that, that was for me the issue.